What it do, what it do, what it do, what it do, what it do. Back at you with another one. So today I got to talk about this, uh, this little Jimmy Butler thing, right? Like, I mean, we kind of knew the writing was on the wall when he didn't sign the extension. But now he didn't say what teams he, you know what I'm saying, he he wouldn't mind going to. Or allegedly his uh his agent put out there what teams, you feel me? So you got the Rockets, the Mavs, and the Warriors. Okay. Not bad picks, but I think the issue with Miami is they too like middle of the pack. Right? Like they one of them teams that they they good, but they not good enough to win. But they too good to where like you not gonna get no draft picks. Like you really not gonna be able to build for real. And then on top of that, like they really don't land like big free agents like that. You feel me? Like outside of like the Miami Big Three, they never really land no big. You no, know I'm saying no no free agents. So. I think that might be an issue with, with Jimmy that being staying there like, dude, we just been the same level team the whole time we've been here. Right? It hasn't really been no growth. It's just been they just kind of been right here. Right? Like the, the, like a tier right under the contending teams in the East. So but let's talk about these teams he said he wanna go to, right? So you got the Rockets, right? Like, I don't know about the Rockets for him. I don't think that's a good fit. You know what I'm saying? Like, the timelines don't match. Because, like, he a vet. They young and up and coming. You know what I'm saying? So, I think it will only make sense for him to go there if they wasn't losing pieces. And he was, like, that last piece to win a chip. You know what I'm saying? Like I feel like that would make sense for him to go there, but how the how the roster constructed now they one of them teams is just kind of like they remind me of like younger Boston, right? Where they kind of got their two stars and they trying to figure out what they need to put with them. You know what I'm saying? They got Shingoon and they got Green, so them two is like they we gonna just be patient and build around them these two. You feel me? So I think they just need to just don't do nothing. Right, I don't think the Rockets and Jimmy a good look. I think Rockets one of them teams that they just not need. They don't need to do nothing. They got a lot of young pieces over there. Be patient with them. See what they are. You know what I'm saying? See what they develop to be, and then start making your decisions later on. That's what I think for the Rockets. I don't think that's a good look. Now, the Mavs. I don't like him on the Mavs either. For one, like, the only tradable piece the Mavs really have is Kyrie, right? Because we know Luka, they, we know they not trading Luka, so let's not even bring Luka up, right? We know they not, like, yeah, right? So the only other piece they really got that you would want is Kyrie, you know what I'm saying? Like, unless you go with the whole, like, get up. And I don't really think that, um... Dallas really don't have no young pieces like that either. Only really young piece they got is the big fella, um, Lively. But that's not going to be enough for Jimmy. Like, they would at least need, like, a crazy amount of draft picks or something. So, yeah, I don't think that really, I don't think that really makes sense either for him to go there. You know what I'm saying? Like, the Mavs kind of in the, in the space where they don't really need a star. They just need to tweak around their stars, right? They got Luka, they got Kyrie, they good, right? They just got to figure out what pieces they need to put around them. You know what I'm saying? To see if they can go ahead and get that chip. Now, a team that do make a little more sense is Golden State. You know what I'm saying? That team make a little bit more sense, right? Because Jimmy and Steph are around the same age, right? So they kind of... We had the same motivation. Like, all right, we gotta hurry up and get us one for we for that for that four old star knocking on our door. You know what I'm saying? They both like in they mid the early mid thirties, right? Let's let's try to get us one more. And then like ever since Clay went down, 
Steph never really had his his co-star no more. You know what I'm saying? Like Poole and Clay after injury, Clay was kind of like the, his co-star by committee, but he never really had like his running mate. And then, you know, Jimmy can he got defense, he scored, he a gamer. So, you know, you add Jimmy. And then, you know, the Warriors got young pieces that they can trade. They got young pieces. You know what I'm saying? Kaminga over there, like, you know what I'm saying? He kind of uh, disgruntled a little bit over there. So, Kaminga trade for Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a piece here, a piece there. Make the money work or whatever they got to do. That'll make sense. You know what I'm saying? For Golden State, I think. So, out of all the places that, um, that he suggested, I think Golden State makes the most sense. Now, will this happen? Who knows? I don't know. Because I don't know if Miami is the type of franchise that's going to send you where you want to go. Right? Like, I don't know if Pat going to be on that. Pat going to be on, I'm getting the best package for you. I don't know. Right? So, only time will tell. Will he even get traded? Will they work it out? You know what I'm saying? And he end up signing an extension. Who knows, right? So, what I want y'all to do is let me know in the comments who y'all think or what team y'all think would be the best fit for Jimmy. You know what I'm saying? Out of the teams that he listed. So, let me know in the comments. Like, comment, subscribe. See y'all on the next one. Peace.